It's Greenway, my bad. Yes. So, uh, welcome to Let's Get This Straight, first of all, right? Thank you. So, today I want to talk about just Instagram. Okay. All right, so when you look at somebody like you, right, and you, um, just your Instagram page, it, the first thing that comes to mind is... And when you look at mine? I mean... Of course I, you're not going to say it. I, I don't, I wouldn't know really what comes to mind. Like when I look at it, I just see like myself and like moments of my life or just like advertising. I don't really see that anything makes sense, else. Because that's your business. All right. right. So I feel like in the general public, we can both agree. Like when they look at a pretty girl, take pictures. Well, I know what everyone else followers. thinks of, uh, thinks they, of well, oh, they think either I'm a hoe, um, I'm an Instagram model. There we go. Which technically, in some kind of way, I am an Instagram model because I model products on Instagram. But I refer to it as a brand influencer because I'm not a model. I'm not going to be walking down a runway. I'm not in magazines. Like, I don't see it that way. Definitely. So when we talk about this Instagram chick mm -hmm. thing, like... First of all, where do you think that even come from? Well, I'm going to be honest. There are girls who are in this position that abuse it or they just misuse it. Mm -hmm. That's where it comes from. Like, there are some girls. Like, even people, even when you're not on Instagram, there's people who look good that are trashy. Like, yeah. and so it just, it just, like, leaves, like, a bad taste. And it, it kind of is, it's not equivalent to being a celebrity, but, like, on the Internet, I feel like it kind of is, so people like desire you, so they just like pick at you. Right. The same way people like, you know, heckle comedians and stuff. It's the same thing. No, nah, definitely. So first of all, let's even go from the beginning. How do you, you got, you had like 400 and what, 12? 417? 417. Let me, let me get it right. It'll be 418. You might be at 418,000 yeah. followers on Instagram. <laughs> How the fuck did you even, like, where did this start from? How did you get this many followers? So I had, this one picture that just went viral like they turned it into a meme it's ridiculous like it was on world stars on everything and i was just standing out in front of my house it was a regular picture and it just like i literally got fifty thousand followers overnight what the f so all right because i be thinking my <laughs> shit go viral what what what's the number for viral okay so back then i thought the picture went viral it got on my page it got about 40,000 likes and like a thousand something comments. But now I do those numbers more often. So I don't look at it as viral anymore. But I think because the image was like, it literally was a meme. Like it was going around for a while and some people didn't even know it was me. So I think that's viral when you're on like major platforms. And it's just So like, when you got 50K, what was the first thing you did? I said, okay, I'm gonna make some money off of this. Yeah. Finally, I can do something. And you know what's crazy? When it happened, I had just lost my job. Like, I just got fired, like, a month before that. You know what they say, like, after the storm, the, sh the sun shines. So, like, yeah, that's a fact. definitely. Damn, so you got 50,000 overnight. So overnight. you was at, like, what? I don't, I don't know how many followers you had. You I probably had, like, 9,000. And then I woke up in the morning, and I had, like, almost 70,000. Sheesh. It was literally overnight. Yeah, damn. So after that, you like, I'm about to make money. What was the first thing you did to make money? So the first thing I did, I... um. Well, someone that actually people started DMing me already because I already was a blogger. OK. And um, when I was blogging, you know, people would reach out to me like and ask me if I could write about like their restaurant or things like that. But it wasn't really a money type of thing. It was more so just like passion or when it was promotion, it was like promotion. But for me, like my passion was writing at that time. So I felt like, okay, I, could, I was just good at it. I went to school for it, like I was just good at it. So I planned to get like a bunch of website clicks and things like that and put advertisements on my page to make the money. But at the time when people were asking me to advertise their things, it was free because I didn't have a major platform yet. Right. So that's how it like originally got started. So I kind of already knew how it worked, like the promotion aspect of the internet. But then people started reaching out to me on DM asking me to promote their products through Instagram. And some of the people, it was like, I'll give you free clothes and you get to put it on. And it's like, okay. But then as time went, I started realizing like, no, y'all are making crazy money off of these, off of the stuff y'all are selling. And I'm only getting the free stuff. Like y'all can, 
it's too much money you're making to just to not be able to pay me. Everybody's online right now. They're not even watching TV that much anymore. They're online. So it's no different than a commercial. So that's when I started saying, okay, you know what? Uh-uh, I'm not wearing your stuff for free. I don't even want to wear it. I'll just go buy something to wear. Pay me to wear it. Definitely. And that's when I started making the money. But at the time, it wasn't as much money because I didn't have as big of a, follow, a platform. platform yeah. Right. So I want to, all right, because you did t- you touched on a, a couple things I want to talk about. So I want to put the money for the items, just put that in the tuck for, for real right now, right? Okay. What happened to your passion with blogging? Like, why did that stop? So... I'll be honest, like, I still have the passion there, but once you get kind of caught up in a certain lifestyle, mm-hmm. you get distracted sometimes. And I think because it all happened so fast for me, like, it brought a different type of attention. And I just, like, didn't really have the time to focus on the writing anymore because at this point, now I'm getting to travel, I'm getting to go places, like, I'm posting in London, like, all Jeez. types of stuff. And so you kind of just get distracted really i got distracted you never wanted to be like a celebrity blogger like even now to this day so now i wouldn't want to be a cele- a celebrity blogger i'd much rather be a broadcaster so like i want to do like interviews like you know mm-hmm. what you do i'd rather do that the blogging thing i'm starting to see how messy it gets no definitely and i feel like what sells is drama and i don't want to promote that right no thanks so like I just think that because, like you said, it happened so fast, but you still got the time and you got the platform that so many people that don't have it. Like, even right. me, shit, I don't got that many motherfucking followers. And if I had that many followers, I think I probably wouldn't even need no radio station. Fuck them niggas, you get what I'm saying? But oh, absolutely. I just, I, but see, you know what another thing is? When you're a female, it's just tougher. Like, it's harder for me to, like, because you're a, a, a man, if you get that type of following, nobody's going to think that you... An uh, Instagram nigga. Yeah, like <laughs> nobody's gonna nigga. think like, yeah, he's fucking this person. That's how he's getting this. He's doing that, and it's like you become less credible. It's like a catch twenty two. Like, yeah, you get more attention, but now people think that you are somebody that they've created in their mind. Mm-hmm. They don't know who you are anymore. So it's like it's almost harder to be taken seriously. No, that makes sense. It makes sense. So I'm just trying to figure out. Like, I feel like if you want to do ready, you could do whatever the fuck you want. You get what I'm saying? Like, if you want to do interviews. You could be like, yo, I'm trying to do interviews. I'm pretty sure you talk to mad celebrities in your yeah. DM. Yeah. Like, so- I, I get a lot of DMs from celebrities, but I don't always... See, here's the thing. It's not always what it seems like. Like, when you first get there, you're a little bit naive. You think, oh, cool, this person wants to link with me. It's going to be Man, they lucrative. Trying to fuck. They're trying to fuck. <laughs> and I'm not. Because it's horny so out this it, bitch. Right. So, and I'm not. So that's where it just becomes an issue. And then it's like, they don't want to help me or do things with me because I'm not feeling them. And they almost taking, they're taking it as an insult. Like a solid taste in them of like, right. I ain't fucking work. So what, um, who's like the, I don't know, the most lit celebrity that hits you up in your DM? <laughs> you can say it like shit. They fuck around don't see this shit anyway. And if oh they do, it's lit for the both no, of us. Fuck it. No, they will see it. Um, I don't know because I feel nah, like. I don't, I don't know. You know exactly. Okay, who. you Okay, you say a name and I'll just give a yes or a no. Wow, it's so many celebrities. I don't know I'm a, I'm everyone go. considers like huge anymore. Because you're huge now, you want. No, it. not that. It's just because I'm getting older and I just feel like I don't know, like, or once you kind of meet these people, they're all kind of. Right, so, so I don't know who everyone's like. All right, let's let's, over. let's 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 we're gonna bring it. Mm. Drake concert was yesterday, so did Drake ever DM you? No, Drake's never DM me. The Migos was in the concert, so did they ever DM you? Um, some of them have before. Some of them, there's only three of them. So some of them, <laughs> so we got Offset. This was like before Bad and Bougie though. So whatever. they All weren't right. really like lit. All right, whatever. We got, they was lit. <laughs> Ever Versace, like come on. <laughs> like, they was lit. So Offset. Yeah, he's DM me before. Quavo. Take off. No. But you probably didn't want to take off the DM you anyway. I wouldn't want any of them to DM me. I didn't even respond. But out of the three, take off would be the least you would want to DM you. Like. Actually, no. Take off's probably the coolest one. Like, he just seems cool. He's never with them, I feel like. He's, like, always just low. So, he like, cool. what was the game, though? Like, like, what's up, beautiful? Everyone sends the same things. It's either a heart, it's either eyes, the emojis, or it's... Right, yeah, so, oh, you're so beautiful. How are you? It's all the same shit. I wish we had the monitor like ding. All right, so the Migos, <laughs> uh, 
um, the I don't know who's big. Throw some names out there. See, that's what I said. I don't know who's Rick like Ross? big. No. Um, I don't. Money bag yo. I feel like these guys no. would. Money bag yo. Then little baby then. No, I'm not that hot. See. <laughs> yo, Gotti. Oh, no, that's not fair. But because that's not fair. <laughs> But I mean, it's it's let's get this straight. So I mean, so Yo Gotti, um, yeah, he's DM me before, but I I responded to him. Like, so he's cool. What you like? What nah, I just he's just a cool dude. Like, like what's up? certain dudes, I just think are cool. So it's like, I mean, I'm human. How cool? He's cool. Like I I respect him. I think he's a a dope individual. Oh my god. So Yo Gotti, uh. Damn, that's, I didn't have to say anymore. It's like, it's like, you lit when niggas is DM you. So, have you ever went on any dates with anybody that's like... A celebrity? These? Yeah. Yeah, I have. So, like, I'm assuming Yo Gotti, because, I mean, he's Yeah, I've cool. gone on a date with him. <laughs> that's funny. <laughs> yeah, so y'all about to have a date or no? No, 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 it's nothing like that. Like, I'm the type of person, like, I'm laid back, so I don't really... It's hard for me to even see certain people, because I have a life of my own, and they do too. They travel mm -hmm. a lot. I can't just jump and come to wherever someone is. I have a daughter. So it's like, I can't, I, I can't really participate in the fast life. Mm, I didn't, so I didn't see a couple things in my eyes, even though I don't know, cause I be trying to mind my business. And I don't know if that's fair to ask your body, but it's like, you got to, cause this is the shit <laughs> people that gives a fuck about, you know what I'm saying? It's like, so it's like, it's not yeah. fair, but like, who gives a fuck? Let's get this straight, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I when I was at the club, I was hosting alongside uh, Ro Timmy. Okay. Dre, everybody, I don't know. Oh Power God, this shit. is crazy. What's up? This what? went left fast. <laughs> we talking Instagram, this, so all these this, niggas is. This went left quickly. It did. My, sorry, not sorry. <laughs> conversation. What happened? With, what's up with? What's up? I feel like I met dude. And he was a good dude. He's a good. He's but a good when guy. he came to Baltimore, I don't know. Like, what's up? We are, <laughs> we're just friends, so I think because we were just like sitting near each other, people just started like taking it out of context, mm -hmm. but. We're just friends. All right, well, but we, we used to date a while ago. Okay. So when you say Instagram girls are like just out there, right? Mm -hmm. What what makes a girl just out there? Because to me, if you date three or four niggas in the industry, I'm like, you, I'd probably say you out there. So here's the thing. It seems like I've dated a bunch of people in the industry, but I, I really haven't. Like, I feel like I, I don't date that often anyway. Right. So this is over the span of like, three or four years now. Okay. This isn't like within a couple of weeks. And I think that people think because it's maybe because the person is, I don't know, in a different light, but they're just regular people. So I guess it makes it look more like, oh yeah, she's out there, but there's girls fucking every, can I curse? Yeah. Okay. There's girls fucking everywhere that nobody knows about. Okay. And that to me is like, okay, you're out there. If you're doing it in a short span of time, but you can't help who, you can't Your help partners. who pursues you. That makes sense. So when you say they, they regular people, I don't think they regular people. Because that They're bag is different. The bag is different, but at the end of the day, when you strip the bag away, you're still a regular person. That's like a fact. Money eventually will have no value mm -hmm. in the United States. Then what will Neither do be? Instagram followers. Absolutely. But I they, get it. It's true. No, one day, the... The like the way things work now, everything's happening so quickly. So, just like Facebook was there, Twitter was there. Like, there's longevity, but everybody's gonna start accumulating a bunch of followers, and then it won't be as special to have this many, and people won't pay you because they won't need to. No, that's a fact. So I feel like because you're in that circle, these, and I, I'm not saying that circle as in like a Yo Gotti circle, but like you're in that when it comes to the platform, like yeah. it's a circle of people. Yeah. Do you think you would date anybody or take anybody serious that's not on that level or that stature is? Absolutely. I don't even care about, like, fame and things like that. Like, I've never been drawn to that. Like, mm -hmm. I like men who are bosses. Like, that's my thing. So am I going to be dating someone with no ambition who's not famous? No. But will I date somebody with, ambitious, with, with ambition who isn't famous? Of course. So, if I like them. And like I say, I say that because in all fairness... Just the time that I know you, like, I did gain the respect because you aren't the chick that's just out there chasing clout, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And that's not for the cameras, like, that's just on some real shit. Like, I gained that respect because I've, I done seen some girl. Well, that's the thing, here, 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 like, okay, 
for example, I went out last night um, to the Drake concert and I saw with my own two eyes, I saw, you know, girls trampling each other for these men and they're just going to go to the next city and do it there. The it, 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 and they're just people like it just it blows my mind. Like, yeah, they might be talented individuals, but everybody has a talent. But you don't think that's not fair because, like I said, you are in a circle. So you've got the, the I'm not about to. Well, I will hope you're not about to jump over a nigga that just was in your DM. They probably not in that DM. You know what I'm saying? Like, they probably yeah. not. These guys are, are reaching out to you. You know what I'm saying? They're not reaching out to them. So it's like, they want that because they never have it. But once you, once they get it, they'll realize that it does. It, it's nothing. It's fake. It's but like Christmas. that's fair. But is it fair There's to no look at them clothes. any differently? Because like we even me, like okay, me. Okay. So here's what I think. I do think it is okay to look at certain people differently, whether they are trying to chase clout for that type of stuff, or whatever even if reason. it's yeah, whatever you're doing in life. If you are trying to manipulate the situation by fucking or you're acting like you have no self-respect yes you are going to be put in a certain category that's right. fair treat yourself better carry yourself with more respect and then no you won't be a hoe but yes their hoes are a real thing not everybody's a hoe and i think that sometimes even i get a bad stigma because of my profession that i'm a hoe but i'm not but there are girls who do my profession that are hoes and like i said from my from my experience yeah I, I haven't i haven't seen or heard no whole shit about you but um you never will <laughs> but you know what depending on who you're talking to you know some niggas he, well, make stories differently i feel like i don't even like i don't think dudes ever do that like nobody's ever just been like yeah like i think one time somebody got upset because i wasn't feeling them and they tried to like spin things and i had to put them on blast mm -hmm. and it was a football player and i think that like i forgot football players damn that, you got everybody that, in the dm that kind of like <clears throat> It was like on baller alert and things. It just was, it was messy. But there are dudes who do that type of shit. But to me, you're no different than a female who's a hoe. Like, you're a whole-ass nigga for doing that. And don't get it twisted. There are dudes just as thirsty as these girls. Like, mm -hmm. if no, you would definitely. look at my DMs, like, these men have no respect for themselves either, some of them. Like, you know, you get DMs from people talking crazy shit. Like, oh, um, can I eat your ass? Just ridiculous things. Like, have some standards. What's the craziest thing somebody ever said to you? I don't even know because there's so many crazy things. Like, if I open my DM right now, we could probably find something insane. But, like... What's the, I know you can remember. What's the craziest thing like, I swear, that a I celebrity can't. said, though? Like, we're going to narrow it down. What's the craziest thing that a celebrity said? I, I don't even, like, remember. I feel like everyone says the same thing, almost. You look oh, like they probably say, I can imagine the but crazy. But there's shit. some of some like just because someone's a celebrity, you gotta remember these dudes are still regular. regular. No, no, they no. they didn't always have the clout, they didn't always have the money, so they say lame shit just like another thirsty nigga is like my guy. Like have some respect. So <laughs> back on the um just the making making it a business and a monetary mm -hmm. thing, right? Because a lot of times people with my stature, like just let's say twenty thousand, whatever, mm -hmm. we we with the. Yo, I'll promotion shit. You gave it to me for free. I'll right. wear it. When did you like cut it off? Yeah, like what made you even cut it off? I guess because to me, I'm thinking that's an even exchange. I get fly. I promotion shit. It's an even exchange when you have another hustle going on. Mm -hmm. I I lost my job right before that happened, so I was mo motivated to turn it into dollars more than probably someone who just stumbled across it or it just happened to them by accident like i feel like it was meant for me to for me to be able to brand myself and be something and make money from it so i never really took it as a joke like i i didn't even really have an instagram before all of this began like i only had it for like a few months before i went viral i'm not saying even that nine thousand a few months is good like you was on your way to the top already yes it was i think it was just something i don't know like i guess i'm a good looking female so that draws people and i know how to market very well i know how to reach out to the people who follow me and make them feel like they're getting entertained so you think it definitely like just a picture going viral and you having this platform it definitely changed your life and the, absolutely it changed my life and you said you had a daughter Yes. How is having this platform with motherhood and parenting? So my daughter, I don't even let her have Instagram. So it's like for her, like sometimes she'll tell her friends like, yeah, my mom is Instagram famous. But like, <laughs> it's, it, doesn't, it doesn't really change much. Like my situation hasn't really even changed to that extent. I just started seeing like 
thousands a month. At first, I was struggling. Like, thank God for unemployment. No, definitely. But, but that's motivation to the girls that might have a hundred thousand. It is. Or you know what I'm saying? Like, yo, like the fact that you could be transparent, like yo. And and let me not leave out the fact that I do have. I am signed to an agency that that is specifically for brand influencing. So I'm signed to the CME agency, and my manager is Sean Cummings, and he's been in this type of industry for a while. So I didn't just figure it out on my own. Like he basically was the missing piece for me to really like get paid on a regular basis from these major companies. But my daughter, it's even that situation is hard because my agency wants me to move to Los Angeles mm -hmm. and they want me to stay there for at least six months before I bring my daughter just to get me like started up. And I just, yeah. I'm, I'm stuck right now because it's like, if I leave for six months, it could possibly change her life. Like it's happened to people, but do I really want to miss six months of her life? You can't, I feel like you can still grind it out out there and have it with you. I can't though because she has an entire life here. I can't just pick up and move and I would really have no, I'd have no family out there. I have no stability. I'm just relying on straight business. Mm -hmm. And eventually I might take that leap, but I just feel like right now it's not, it's not the right time. No, in fact. So how, being that you got Insta Famous, whatever, did that change the people around you? I'm sure it did. Yeah, I had a few like friends. How does her, her, like not friends or like, I don't know what the situation with. Well, even <clears throat> like, People who didn't like me before it, now I see them and they're all, hi Jasmine, like, oh my gosh, remember? I'm like, no, I don't. Like, it changed people to where they treat me as if they like me and I know they don't. Mm -hmm. So it's just kind of like the people who do like me or I think like me, sometimes I question it because I'm like, I don't even know who likes me for real. Like, I've, of course, I have some solid friends that I know for sure. Like, we're family. It doesn't matter about the Instagram stuff. But when I meet new, newer people or people in the industry, I'm always skeptical because I'm like, I know some of y'all didn't like me prior to this. Now y'all like me. So I can't tell who likes me, who doesn't. So if you could get anything straight, right? Like, if you can clear the air with any, like, rumors or people that that's, they think this about Miss Greenway, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? What would it be and what would you tell your audience like yo this is who i really am don't think this so i would say i'm not first of all i'm not a hoe mm -hmm. i don't let's get that I, and i said i'll vote for that yeah. like that's what i'll let's vote for let's get that straight i'm not fucking well i don't anybody. know what you're doing behind closed doors but from no my angle, i don't think I'm, you're a hoe no, respect I'm, i'll I'm give not, you that i'm not i'm on your side I'm, with that Okay, I built my brand by myself. Okay. Like, I literally did it by myself, of course, with the help of the followers, but not everybody's going to capitalize on that the way I did. So I want to get that straight. I did this from the ground up. I didn't fuck anybody to get here. I didn't have any, like, I wasn't dating any celebrity and it got out and then I got people to follow me. Like, people genuinely follow me because there's something that they want to see. So I want to just get that straight. My platform was built by myself. I don't have to fuck still to keep it going. Like, I'm not a hoe. I have self-respect. And, of course, there's more to life than just Instagram. People need to understand that. Like, there's way more to me. Like, Instagram is a small portion of my life. It's just like work. Like, when you go to work, you're not completely yourself. But mm -hmm. when you get home, that's who you are. When you're around your friends, your family, that's who you really are. So, for me, Instagram is a job. People need to get that straight. Like some people, they literally like put me in this nasty category and I'm so tired of it because that's not who I am. No, they definitely, people do put you in a box. So you say that's not who you are. So then who, who, who is Jasmine Greenway? Like who are you really? I am a mother. Mm -hmm. I am a God fearing woman. I am wild. <laughs> I am. What's wild? How wild? Like I'm wild as in I'll take a chance with something and risk everything. Okay. I'll, I'll, I'll bet it all, like, fuck it. I'll, I like to have fun. Um, I'm intelligent. I think a lot of people miss that because all you're really seeing is pictures, but I'm very smart and I am a real nigga. <laughs> <laughs> you light skin as fuck, if so I, you ain't a real nigga. I, real niggas I, come dark. If I really wanna get, you know, I ain't no sucker. Let's get that straight. Too. Real niggas be coming.